Hello, YouTubers. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be playing some City of Heroes. Now, this is my second gaming video of the day. If you saw my Mass Effect video earlier today, you would know that this is my second time I'm doing a gaming video. But, you know, it's simple and I definitely enjoy doing stuff like this for you guys. So, as you can see, it's a bit of a heavy low today on Excelsior, which is to be expected because of this pandemic. And everybody's pretty much sitting at home playing, playing City of Heroes on the weekend. It's, it's quite crazy how this pandemic has made servers on City of Heroes so busy. So, today I think we're going to play with one of my villains. Now, this is one of my newer villains that I just created. Um, I'm super proud that I made this one. And this one, Lord Draken, you should recognize if you read the Power Rangers comics. Now, I couldn't create an exact replica of Lord Draken. I just couldn't. So I decided, you know what, how about I give him a design that I feel he should have. And I think it turned out pretty freaking fantastic. I was going to give him a hood, but then it covered up the dragon logo right there. And I really didn't want that to happen. And this character right here is an Easter egg for... Um, for a fan fiction series that I read titled X Men Supreme Marvel Master Six, if you Marvel Master Six One Six, if you are watching this, this is an ode to you. So I think I'm gonna take Lieutenant Freeman, um, and I'm just gonna see where I left off with him because I haven't played with my heroes in a while. I've been playing mostly with my villains for the most part, and I got two of my villains up to level ten, which. I mean, is an amazing feat. So, he's a jumper, this one. So, what mission do I have? Combat the clockwork in King's Row. Find 10 clockwork. Ugh. Tech heroes. Always so fun knowing that you can fight little evil robots. <laughs> but, I know that... The clockwork are going to be a nightmare to try and find in King's Row because, um, because I just know that, um, that when you're looking for something so specific in mind, that it, they're harder to find. It's just that way. So, I'm just going to jump from this rooftop and I'm going to... Go find the train station. Alright, good. Get out of the Hyperion way, which is where all those skulls and Hellions happen to hang out. So... I gotta go around this way. So as you can see, he just jumps very, very high, like super long distances. And I think it actually makes sense for this character. Oh gosh, it just did a yo-yo thing. This is, yeah, it decides to do that sometimes. All right, super jump. I might create a natural hero, but the problem is with natural heroes, I just never know what travel powers would make most sense for them. Like, it makes zero sense to do a natural hero. Unless if you do, like, stealth, maybe that could work, but then they have an option for phase shifting, which <laughs> I'm gonna give to one of my villains anyway. And I don't think that it makes sense to have regular, normal, natural characters phasing through solid objects. Does that work? No. So, where's my mission? I gotta find 10 clockwork. Not looking forward to it. It's not gonna be fun. Because, quite frankly... Oh! 
There are some right there, and it is so perfect. Nice. What do you know? That was an easy find. Nice. I love that trick. I love that. One of the best parts of being in temple is all the different stuff you get to do. It's like they were expecting me. How nice. Ha ha ha. And of course you always end up going to the hospital somehow. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to get out of Crown Medical. I mean, Crown Memorial, and I'm gonna go and get some help, um, stuff. Perfect. Now let's go find some more clockwork to beat up, destroy, whatever you want to say. They say so. Industrial Avenue. I think that they hang out anywhere that's like this or you'll end up finding these guys. Those happen to be the lost, and I do not like dealing with them either. They're terrible, they're just bad, and they leech off the homeless, so. Oh, there's a clockwork. Oh, uh, it's level eight. Let's just get this guy. Oh man, I hate it when they trap you in cages! Nice. Got the guy. I got him. That was perfect. Now let's get these two. Maybe it's because I'm at level 6, that's why. I should not be taking on guys that, you know, are tougher than me. But, at the same time, it's so tempting because I get more XP that way. Let's just combine 3 into... And combine 3. I love doing that. Okay, now let's pick Insight, because that helps with... Because Insight helps a lot with, um... It helps with making sure that you're... Not gonna miss a shot. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. But I find that it helps. Sometimes. I'm just gonna jump and try and find some more clockwork that I can actually battle. Oh, there we are. Plenty right here.
I hate it when you mess. Oh yeah, that worked. Now we just gotta get two more of them. Nice. And two trips to the hospital later. And that worked. All right. Now I can be introduced to a new contact or I can get some more missions. So I'm going to go see the King's Row security chief and see what I can do. Because honestly, like, I don't want to be in new contact right now. All right, just gotta go to the Freedom Plaza! My favorite place in King's Row is the Freedom Plaza. Time to keep the peace and beat some skulls. Just always nice to do. So where are some skulls that I can actually fight? Here we go. Level 7s. Oh, I hate it when they run over. I love getting help from undercover cops. All right. Nah, want to avoid the lost. Don't pick any fights you don't have to pick. Or we could. Oh my god. I hate these guys. I hate the bone daddies. They're the worst. Time to go to the hospital again! Because I just picked a fight that I couldn't win. Do not be like me. <laughs> Do not be like me. But at the same time, maybe it's a good time. Good thing too sometimes. Get three of them. Get two of those. And then get catch a breath. And let's see how much more we can do for this contact in particular before he gives me a new contact to work with. So, let's just...
man, again? Really? At least it was near the hospital. At least it was near there. Let's just keep that positive, on a positive note. At least it was near a hospital and not someplace far away. Okay, I'm gonna avoid those guys. Let's get this guy. You know what? I want a new contact. I really do. Alright, so let's go find our contact, Detective Jose Bragon. Why don't we just go to Perez Park and see what kind of trouble we can get in over Perez Park.
Ooh, defeat ten circle thorns. Perfect. All right, I think I'm gonna stop it here and go to my character select and choose one of my villains this time around. Depends on which villain I want to play as. So I want to play as Winter Wolf or Duck Dolly. Duck Dolly has been very good to me. So I'm going to go with her for today. And then I think after I do a couple missions with her, I'm going to switch back over to a hero and then we'll call it a night. So I have this one mission I have to do where I kidnap Elseworth and. I believe that the people they have to find here are- Oh, they're trolls! Oh my god, they just gave me a bunch of them! What?! There were not that many when I first did this. There were not that many. This is- That's cheating. That's cheating. Oh, I hate these guys. So much. Perfect. Beautiful. Let's get these guys. Alright, so let's fight some more of these guys and kidnap whoever we have to kidnap. Let's just make it quick. Oh, why did I actually click on that? Nice. I love insight. Because that just gives me more of an advantage. Like critical hits, which I love. Stop and rest. Which is so important, I cannot trust it enough when you're playing this. Let's 
check up here and see what we can find. Three of them right on top. Yeah, that's right. You better run. You better run and keep up with me. And no, I'm not here to rescue you either. So any hopes and dreams you had of that? Yeah. They're shattered. <laughs> You know what, I feel like changing her appearance. I have another costume that I'd like to have her in. I love this outfit too. All right, so that was good. Now, before we do that mission, let's go to Arbiter Unger and level up because she should be at level 11. Or at least that's where I want her to be.
come on. One painful thing about playing City of Villains, and I will note this, um, <laughs> this, it's not easy, unless if you're a flyer. Aw oh, man, some of the family found me, really? Okay. Time to connect this person. Who are we gonna be fighting though? That's the question. That's the question! I have no idea who these guys are. Gold Rippers. I never heard of these guys once.
<laughs> so she was desperate to say that I never found her. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Not in my book. Okay, so it looks like I completed enough to the point where I can go back to my keep the ear and get a new contact. I love it when it works out that way. Like, this is what makes City of Villains a little bit more complicated, is that you have to do freelance work, and a big part of your notoriety is freelance work through the newspaper. So, of course it makes it a little bit tougher, but it makes it that much more satisfying when you know that you gained so much notoriety to the point where you're getting more attention for what you're doing. And it's great. So, I gotta find this guy. Where's my key to ear? Let's find him. Oh, come on. Why am I getting stuck here? Okay, let's teleport. Nice. Okay. Robbing the King's Row Bank. You only have 15 minutes. Okay, this is where I think I will stop it. And I will end things for tonight. So, therefore, just have a good week, everybody. And I will be back soon with more content. Excelsior!